Hey. It's been a while. I've gotten just a bit more sure of myself. Thanks to you. You're amazing, you know that? You don't even seem like crowds give you that much trouble. At least in comparison to me. How do you do it? Is there some kind of secret that I'm missing? Some reason that it's so much easier for everyone else. No, I'm not trying to say I'm jealous. It's more like I don't want to be a burden to you. I don't want you to... <laughs> what? I don't understand. Was that to call me down or excite me? I can't understand. But I love that you did it. So, wish me luck. <laughs> I had to get you back, somehow, and since my mind went blank, I figured the best way was with some of your own medicine. <laughs> it's alright. I'm just doing my best here. It may not seem like much, but I always, always was trying to give you everything. I hope it shows. I really hope it shows. I actually spend a lot of my days just hoping that you know I'm thinking about you and that you know how much you mean to me. How very much it takes and how very much of my heart you occupy. I love you. I more than love you. Actually, I'd say I love you so much that it hurts sometimes. But not in the bad kind of pain. It's more like the pain of knowing that someone cares so you can't just Minimize yourself out of existence, so you have to... You have to exist in front of that crowd. If you want them to see you. If you want to be someone to them. You gotta be yourself. But you gotta strive to be a better self. Oh god. I'm rambling. I'm so sorry. It's just... Lately, things haven't been going so well, especially in my house. My family, they're on the verge of something sad, and it's gotten to me. It shook me up pretty much. I hope you can understand. I'm telling you this because I trust you. Because I know nobody else would understand like you do. You see, my mom's been real sick. Not in the way you might think. She's getting forgetful. And I'm worried about her. Her heart's been giving her problems too. But I've been so broke up about it. I've been trying to avoid it. I dread even thinking about the subject. And it... It made me... Lose a bit more confidence in myself. Not that I had that much. But I just... I needed to share with you. Because it's... Haunting. I guess. But I thought it was fair to you. If I don't give you my everything. If I don't give it my all in this relationship. How can I say I love you? 
So this is me, opening up as much as I know how. Bunny, I'm going through a pretty rough time. I love you. I love you a lot. But I think I need you now more than ever. Could... Could... I have a hug? <laughs> Thank you... So much, Bunny. I feel a little calmer. No. Don't worry. I'll try not to overthink things. I know it takes time to deal with this. And that families aren't just like that. But sometimes, just talking it out is the best way. The best thing we could do. Because if we don't talk it out, there's gonna be those bad feelings deep inside. All that resentment, all that worry, it comes out in ugly ways. I just worry. I'm kind of the shame of my family. They've been on me. You know, from an early age. They've all... I don't like to say this. Because it's not nice to talk to your family. The ones that take care of you. Especially not like this. And not talking about them badly, but... They've always kind of used me. There were good times in there, of course. But they pushed me around. They knew I wasn't that confident. And so they used it against me. They're not bad people, but they're... They're controlling. They view me as beneath them. They don't respect me. Even after all I've done. And part of me gets used to that feeling. That feeling of not being believed in by them. And I think everyone's like that. Once you hear something enough, you start to believe it. And I started to believe it too. That I was really beneath them. And in truth... I don't like thinking of them as negative or bad. They're not like that. I can't think of them that way. It's just the stress of life got to them. And they just needed me. Needed me to do all those things for them. It's not that they're bad. They're just misunderstood, right? It's my fault, isn't it? It's my fault that things went this way. Maybe if I'd worked harder. Maybe if I'd done more. <clears throat> no. You're right. I can't go blaming myself like that. I can't. It won't lead to anything but my own depression sadness. I get it. Life's too short for that, right? But sometimes, sometimes, those words, they're not easy to hear. Because part of me is more comfortable being their little slave than to actually have to breathe and face myself. I'm not that brave. I'm glad. I'm glad that you think that. But I'll be the first one to tell you. You can't just go expecting me. To be that. And Prince Charming. When I've still got so much, so many things that I still can't believe in 
When I look in that mirror, I see it. I see what they tell me I'm not. And I... I just need you to know. I'm happy when I look at you. Because I... I believe in you. I believe your words and what you say. You really need them. And I need those words. Ever since I met you, they've been nothing but amazing. And you've helped me give a contrast to all those negative words in my head. To all those sad things that I've been told growing up. The things that stole away my confidence in myself. You gave me my second win. But now, how is it I'm supposed to forgive someone who doesn't even remember me? And what's more, how am I supposed to forgive myself when I feel like I'm the cause of this? What if it's all my fault? What am I gonna do? I know. I'm just a mess right now. I'll be just fine. Don't worry about me. Everything will be just fine. Please. Just forget about this. I said forget about it. You don't have to take that on yourself. You're so stubborn, aren't you? No, I guess we both are in a way. Neither of us are pushovers when it comes down to it. We're just struggling. We're going through those rough times. But there's no reason why we can't go through it together. You're right. I'm just scared. I'm ready for myself. I'm ready from that mirror that chases me around. And all I see is what I'm not. And I'm afraid. That's why I look down. But when someone tells me you know, I'm not good enough, I just... I just... Am I? Am I really good enough for you? You can be honest. It's okay. You don't mean to lie to me. You promise. You promise you feel that way. Then I'll believe you. But you gotta promise me that you're not gonna leave me unless I really deserve it. And then, I'll promise, I'll try and be nicer to myself. I'll try and be someone, someone like Muriel. I always looked up to him. Though it's not for the reason everyone thinks. I, I envied him. But he always knew. He always knew, and yet, he gave me. A smile. He knew I hated him for a while. And yet he'd always pat me on the back. And it would just make me feel more guilty. I just... I just couldn't around him. He's my best friend. I could never hate him like I did when I was naive. But I still feel that envy... I still feel that wish burning deep inside me that I could have that family. <laughs> what do you mean by that? You mean that we could make that family from the ground up? <laughs> I never... 
I never considered that. I ended up thinking that was for everyone else, and not for me. I ended up convincing myself that's just how life is. That people... People are their families, and that it's my job to appease them. You know, I still, to this day, I still do a lot of things that... Never mind. It's nothing. I was just going to tell you that I still, to this day, I... I still do things for them. Almost all my spare time that isn't with you goes into taking care of the chores. Meanwhile, they're just watching TV. They're not even taking care of Mother. They leave everything to me. They make it all out like I'm some kind of Bastard. Like I'm the one that caused all this. They hang it over my head. And yet, part of me just believes them. And I hate that. And I want to change. I want to be the prince you see me as, but sometimes I feel like these clothes, this uniform, this life, that I'm just not good enough for that. <laughs> hey, that's not what you should be doing. You shouldn't be wasting time with someone like me, you know. I want to believe every word. I want to believe that I'm worth your time. That I'm worth all this. But someone a long time ago told me that the baggage isn't always worth it. So what if you do all this and it's all for nothing? What if I'm not the man you think I am? What if I'm just... Just... Uh, yeah, I know. I'm kind of losing touch with things. And it's all because... Because I've heard it so many times. But what you're telling me is so scary. You're telling me to stop. Stop believing I'm under them, below them. That I'm not just their slave. And yet, I just can't. At least it's not that simple. You give me a freedom that I've never had. And freedom can be scary when you've lived your entire life. You're captive in your own home. The family you trust. Being the ones that hate you. And I know I shouldn't say this. I should be grateful to them. Like they tell me. I should be grateful that they... They took care of me and gave me a house over my head, right? But part of me resents them. I love them, but I hate them. They make me so mad. So sad. And yet, I always go back through those doors. And I always bend to their will. I make them food. I take care of their laundry. I make them everything I can. And they'll show me glimpses of kindness. Good times. And then, if anything goes wrong, it all falls on my head. And I don't know what to do. 
Is it all just my fault? Did I make this happen? I just... I just can't. I don't know what makes it right or wrong. All I care about is... Getting to a place... Where I... Where I know... What it is... That I'm looking for. I know I'm looking for you. That's not even a question to me. But what am I looking for in the mirror? Who do I want to see looking back at me? Because right now, I don't think I want to see me looking back. I want to see someone that's not scared and free. I just want to be myself. And I'm gonna do my best. You've given me a lot of love and a lot of tough love. And I have to... I have to give it my all. Or else I can never live up to those words. And I don't plan to give up. It's just so difficult right now. With all the tough times and sad feelings. It's suffocating and scary. I just need you. So, uh, would you like to go with me somewhere? I think I had some place planned, but hearts don't really obey the plans, do they? They make you think you're in control. And then they drop something on your toe. It's okay. It'll be just fine. I just gotta focus. Focus on you. Focus on what you're saying. And ignore that little jerk in my head. That wants me to believe. Those hateful words that I've heard for so long. They, they really get to me. You know. What do you think? That they're all gone? And then they come back. But because of you, I feel like I'm not joking anymore. I feel like I could be a person again. And, and that's frightening, you know. Because I grew up in this place of expectations. Of so many things that I couldn't keep up with. So many people that I wanted to please. And my life became about them. It wasn't about me. And they tried to make it out to be. I was doing all this for my self-betterment. As if I wanted to do that. No. I never had a choice. It was all decisions made for me. And because of that, I ended up in this state of mind of just ignoring, just looking past all that, all the things that I thought I knew about myself, and all the things that I cared to know about myself I didn't, not anymore. I just didn't know what to do. I was empty. I was longing for anything. Something to tell me. Tell me that... I'm someone. I just... didn't know what to do. Because... even now... when I look in the mirror... it's not even that I hate myself. It's nothing like that. I just see nothing. It's like I'm invisible. Because those things... All that time that I spent focusing on everyone else... I never really got a chance to develop myself. My self-image. Everything I'm supposed to know very well. I never really got that. Sure. Mirio saved me from those dark times. You did too. 
more than you'll ever know. But I... I only know how to do so much. And I'm trying... I'm trying to dispel it. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for telling you all this. I'm sorry. If my struggles... If they're annoying... Or if I ever get on your nerves... I'll make sure... To not let this be what defines me. That emptiness inside that I feel. I don't want you to remember me like that. No. No. I'm not going anywhere. I've never really thought of things like that. Not really. Do you know why? And like, come as a surprise, but honestly, there's so much that I want to do, that I want to feel about myself, that I dream about it. I dream about being a person, about being someone that is equally loved as much as they love, and you've given me the first step to that, and I just, now this is right in front of me. I wish I could just reach out and grab. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> you make it sound like I'm a person again. Now I... Now I... I can't say no. I gotta... I gotta... Yeah. I understand. I just need to make sure that I... That I give it my all, and that I make sure to give you so much more smiles, and not let my past or present get in the way of that. So, babe, if you'd like to, I'd love to spend the rest of the day with you. I know, I kind of had a meltdown there. Anxiety, and all those things that we don't like to admit that exist in our heart. They got to me. They took me down a notch. And I can't deny that. I still have so much to go, so much to offer, so much I need to do. I have a lot of dreams, you know. I have dreams of living a life with a real family. Instead of just the one that I got. Making those dreams come true. And also making other people smile. I want to be more courageous. I want to give you everything you deserve. And not treat you like a potato. With arms and legs. Because that doesn't help. I mean, I see you. But sometimes, I still have flashbacks. And certain people, I'll still try and imagine. Because they're scary to me. I'm not the most brave. I might be kind of good at what I do sometimes, but... That doesn't excuse the rest of it. I need to start looking at myself. And part of me just doesn't know how to do that without you. But I know that I need to. No. Not because I can't trust you. It's because I can't trust myself. I have to stand up for myself. But I'm too scared. Because all this possibility all of these things might end up causing me to realize all those dreams I had, they're just, just that. I 
think that's my biggest fear. Failing in such a way that I can never get back up again. <laughs> you really have a way with words, don't you? Saying that there's no such thing. I guess you're almost as stubborn as me. But I think I like that about you, so... Don't ever change, okay? It's just fine. I don't want you to change. Ever. I'm really sorry if I got you down a bit. I'm more calm than I was. Just a little bit, but I was hoping maybe we could work towards things bit by bit. Bunny, I was hoping that maybe you'd be up to taking teaching me how to be brave like you. Or maybe you struggle with this and you just are good at putting on a front. Either way, that's not important. It's just that you're... You're someone I respect a lot. And I just need more time. I want to absorb that positive attitude and replace my own... My own emptiness was something something that I need you're right I need to take a step back I need to just relax a bit you want to go to the zoo I'd love to go with you that sounds like a wonderful idea I hope there's not too many people, though. Though I guess it looks like it's gonna rain, so there's probably not too many. It's okay. If it does rain, I'll eat some of this. And I'll be the umbrella. Don't you worry about a thing, babe. I'd make sure. No matter what. My bunny stays dry and out of the rain. <laughs> That's right. I can't be timid right now. After you saw me like that, I gotta do something cool. So I thought grabbing your hand, holding you close like this. That way, we can go to the zoo much faster. Luckily, I have just the thing. I keep a feather around, just in case we need to travel quick. <clears throat> Hold on tight, okay? This time, we're gonna go top speed and fly there in style. Hopefully nobody sees us, but it's okay, even if they do. I'll be brave. I'll be braver than I've ever been. <laughs> Do you like it in the air? Trust me, you're very safe. I'd never let anything happen to you. And besides, I've got this harness for that reason. That's why you're extra safe. But you can see everything. Don't worry. You're super light, actually. I've had... Cargo that I've taken. That's much heavier than you. <laughs> and... Well... We're almost there. But I wanted to say... You've given me a lot of courage. And I want to give you a lot of myself. A lot more of myself. I know I still gotta work on a lot of things. And get the courage... To 
stand up for myself and understand that, well, they're my family. They're not the boss of me. They're no further above than anyone else. And I get that. But for now, I just want you to understand how much you mean to me. And so, as we make our daring descent, I thought I would do something. Hold on. Go ahead and... <sighs> we landed. Get off for a second here. I've got something to show you in the air. <sighs> Alright. Now, let's get to this. Just got it. Light the fuse. Like this. And... How? <laughs> Gotta make... The colors. And now... Just like... That. Did you miss me? I'm ready. Just like that, I can make fireworks. They're nothing too big, but I wanted to show you. And I just thought you'd like it, so I I just did it without thinking too much about how many people would see me up there. <laughs> I don't know what that number is, but it's okay. As long as you saw it. <laughs> Did you like the heart-shaped one? I tried to do that by combining my quirk with a... Well, one of those heart-shaped candies. And it said be mine on it, so... I took a chance to see if I could incorporate it into the... Into the firework part. No, it's a little bit difficult, because it's kind of dangerous. It's okay. I've done it maybe a couple hundred times. Haven't really hurt myself yet. It's mostly used to signal people. So I keep these little firecrackers so I can use them. They're always in my pocket. I always have some fun stuff in my pocket, actually. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing. Everything's gonna be just fine today. My display of maybe just a bit too much. Come on, Bunny. Isn't it strange? I never thought I'd have the courage to lead you, but something about telling you all that stuff earlier, it made me feel like, while well, there's still anxiety, and I still lack a lot of self. I can be more that I could make myself something instead of nothing. <laughs> and also, it made me think I can't be slacking. You're doing so much, both for me. And for yourself, I look up to you, and even though you struggle, you're so amazing, and I needed you to know, so pardon this sort of PDA, but I... <laughs> I don't care if the animals see me. Well, maybe if there's too many of them. But as long as there's not too many of them, I'll be just fine. And besides, if they choose to remember us, at least they'll have a good memory. And I always wonder if all these beautiful animals are happy. But when I see the smile, on the zookeeper's face, 
It makes me think that they might be. As someone who can transform into a lot of different things, it makes me a little nervous sometimes, but at the same time, as long as they're taken care of, as long as they live happy lives, and I don't really mind it. I just have a lot of empathy for living creatures, for people that struggle and are human and all kinds of things. It doesn't take much to get me to understand and to be all on board for something. At least once I, once I really believe in it. That's what makes all the difference. If you don't believe in something, with all your heart, I've learned, it doesn't go as well as when you do. You can only fool everyone else, but you can't fool yourself. <laughs> it's strange how people like to convince themselves that they can escape from the mirror. But really... It's not about that, is it? It's about finding the reason. Understanding what it means. Understanding more about it. The more you run, the more it catches up with you. And I'm tired of running. <laughs> Look at the monkeys. These are, well, ring-tailed lemurs, and they're near the monkey exhibit. They're one of my favorite animals, actually. Is that strange to you? I sincerely hope not. I have a lot of favorite animals, honestly. There's so many of them that just captivate me. Because you have to think about it from their perspective. There are these ferocious beasts, animals, that can live on fractions of what we live. And there we are, at the top of the food chain, us with our quirks and technology. It makes me more respectful and more grateful for being born human. <laughs> you never know what we could have ended up as. Yeah, I know, it's kind of silly. Who knows what's before or after. And I only care about the right now. And right now, Bunny, you're the only thing. That makes my heart flutter like this. And as much as I enjoy seeing all the animals with you, what makes me the most excited is seeing that smile on your face. <laughs> Would you like to go and get some food from that vendor over there? I'm sure we can enjoy ourselves yet. There's plenty of things we haven't seen yet, and... <clears throat> Bunny, you're... You're doing that in public? What if someone sees you? And besides, you're kind of rubbing up against me. It's not that. Just, it's a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> That's all. I'm gonna try and do my best. So, let's go get that. <laughs> what are you doing over here? I know we're in the trees. And no one could see us, but...
Honey, I don't think we should... <sighs> How is it you always strike me in my weak point and make me want you so much? Bunny, I... <laughs> Are you trying to tell me to keep it down? Hey, is anybody back there? We can't make a sound. He might see us. Good. This looks kind of precarious. Anyone out there? Guess it was nothing. How is it you do that? You have such an effect on my body, even here. You're right. I should keep it down. Otherwise, they might hear us and get suspicious. Just hold still for a second. Now we're here on the ground. Can you really keep up with me? Can I not keep up with you? Your hand. It's there. It feels amazing. You're gonna make me... My voice is gonna come out if you keep doing... for me. Huh. Huh. What do you mean? But...
Why did you do that? What do you mean? I talk too much. I cry out too much. Uh, uh, here, you must be uh, crazy to do this. No, here. What did I ever say I had a problem with crazy? What do you mean, then? There's no problem if you... Uh, what do you think you're gonna make me... Uh, don't move your hips so much. Tell me... Uh, 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 You're not giving me chance here. Uh. more stimulation. Ah! Uh. 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 Uh.
What if people heard us? I think I hear them. What are we gonna do? We're still like this. <laughs> No, you try to say you don't care. Cause I... I guess... That's... That's... That's too much for me. I care cause I'm... Nervous they're gonna... They're gonna... Oh god. Okay. Let's just... Let's just get going. Yeah, I guess that's right. We have a lot of the suit to see still, right? But shouldn't we get cleaned up? What, what do you mean, no? No, you just gotta continue. Just like that. You know what? That's fine. I'm just happy to be by you. <laughs> well, I'd be a liar if I said I didn't enjoy your company. You're rather addictive. And I can't get enough of you, to be quite honest. It's okay. There's not anything to worry about. And besides, there's a lot of things for us to be thankful of, right? I'm thankful that I don't have to be here alone. That I don't have to do it all on my own. That's kind of one of my fears. Even with all my anxiety. I usually just don't know what to do without you. I just... I melt when I see you smile. And I love to see just how much you smile and you're, you're amazing to me. So never stop being that. I can't get enough of you. And I'll never. You're too dang amazing. And I... I need you in my life. I can't get enough of... That sweet smile, too. So never lose it, okay? So you better be nice to me. Or else I'll get revenge on you. And you won't like it. You got that? And so what if I said that? Maybe it's a change. Maybe all these things we've talked about today and done. Maybe it's finally getting to me. Maybe I'm becoming more like you. And maybe next time. I'll surprise you, bunny. I'll surprise you real good. <laughs> You're not the only one who can tease, you know. I'll make sure of that. <laughs> I love you, bunny. Now let's go see those hippos. <laughs> Do you like them big? Because I like them chunky. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't resist. Just the habit. 